cool. Man. Shit. What am I gonna do? Yeah. If she shows up and none of you are there, she'll get suspicious. Wasn't she gorgeous? Okay, little man, we've got to think of a way to make this work. Okay, pay attention. Here's the plan. First, your mum receives a voice message from me. Hi, Linda. Everything's fine. In fact, we're having a really nice time, so don't worry about me getting him back tonight. He can stay at mine. Talk tomorrow. We extend our dog sitting service. And then, the killer touch, my chicken pomodoro, my own special recipe. series ran into seven sequels. Yeah, well I think the series lost its credibility after the third instalment, Howling 3, The Marsupials, featuring Dame Edna Everidge, but I'm a completist. A complete something. Thank you for dinner, it was lovely. Did you notice how the tomatoes were baked in balsamic vinegar with a sprig of rosemary? I did. A bit of an unusual meal to serve to a child though. You think? Well, Ollie never really took to baby food. You're straight on to pot noodles. I never asked you what you did for a living. I'm a keeper at the city farm. Oh. I look after the animals, I feed them, clean them, that sort of thing. How exciting. I enjoy it. I used to work in TV, but I left so I could become a screenwriter. I'm still waiting for my high concept idea. Will there be a part for me? You could discover me and make me famous. The next Bo Derek. Oh, wasn't she in that film with um, Dudley Moore? What was it called? Ten. Yeah, he falls in love with her. Yeah, I hated it. So sexist. I hate men who rate women just on their looks. It's so shallow. Beauty is more than skin deep. Well, I always say you're making love to the woman's brain as much to her body. How do you make love to a person's brain? What I mean is you make love to the whole person, not just their tits and ass. Oh. So, where are you off to on Sunday then? Oh, um. Chile, Argentina, Thailand, and then the States. Oh, you'll be gone for a while then. Oh, three months. I thought I'd see a bit of the world before I take up my residency at the BRI. Oh, so you're a nurse? Doctor, actually, paediatrics. Very impressive. Oh, thank you. Well, you're quite accomplished yourself. You think? Well, yeah. You're a single parent, a writer, a zookeeper, a Fabulous cook, and I don't know why somebody hasn't snapped you up and married you. Oh, I forgot. I'm so sorry. She's dead. Who's dead? Oliver's mum. Well, she... She is dead, isn't she? Or did I just jump to the wrong conclusion? Or did you just let me jump to the uh, wrong conclusion? Well, Oliver! Bedroom to me. I haven't had a chance to decorate. Where's his toys and stuff? Over there. What, dumbbells? Look, Simon, just chill out, all right? This is Rebecca, she's a friend. OK, and who are these people? Just the mother and father of this abducted child. And what's a dog doing here? What dog? Where did he come from? Did you kidnap the dog too? Uh, no, he followed me here. Linda, what in your right mind possessed you to leave our child with Turner and Hooch? I didn't. I left him with him in the pub. Oh, that's a lot more acceptable then, isn't it? Oh, shut up, Simon. I called your office earlier. They said you hadn't been in. Excuse me, I'll get my coat. Look, can everyone just calm down a minute, please? Rebecca, wait. Linda, just leave this one and put on the mount, please. Where is my dog? Over there. Dylan! Hello, mate! Oh, hello, Dylan. Oh, I'll never leave you again. I'm really sorry, mate. Yes! Right. 
want. Where is he? All of you, you bastard! <laughs> Alone at last. You're lucky nobody's pressing charges for abduction and holding a hostage. I'll see myself out. Wait, please. Just a minute. Why did you do it? For you? Me? I don't understand. Because you're so special. Because you only noticed me because you thought I was part of some quirky luggage set left behind at the lost baggage counter. Without Ollie and Dylan, you wouldn't have noticed me. I had to try somehow. Yeah, but... You lied to me. That isn't you. Not now, but one day. I want to do all that. Look, it's taken till today for me to realise I want to be some kid's father. I want the dog, the domestication, the wife thing. It wasn't till I met you that I realised you're the person I could do all that with. Today was like a test run. Yeah. With Richard Hammond as the driver. It wasn't that bad. Come on. You enjoyed it for a while now? Be honest. Yeah, the bit when Ferdy kneed you in the groin, that was quite fun. You probably couldn't have kids now anyway. Steady. I think we should have some fun before we start thinking about children. I'm worried about your idea of fun now. I never had a day of trouble in my life before you showed up. Are you expecting anybody else this evening? Only St. Stephen's marching band. That's too bad. Because I've bolted the door. Hey, wake up. Hey. What time is it? It's late and I've got to go. Oh. Hang on a minute, I'll, I'll walk you home. No, it's okay, I've got to get a few, few things in time. I'm free later if you're about. Goodbye, I've done a thing with my parents, I'm afraid. Well, give me your email address, we'll keep in touch while you're away. Yeah, only I'm not one for writing emails. I'll send you a postcard. I had a great night. Look, I don't want to be a bitch, but perhaps we should just leave things the way they are. Uh, is it something I've, I've done? I've done the... the kidnapping and the abduction? Yeah. No. It's probably the most romantic thing anybody's ever done for me. Probably the most criminal, too. If I can be that person. <laughs> the responsible parent. I know, but I'm not sure that I can. Not right now, anyway. I want to, like, see a bit more of the world before I settle down with kids. God, I work with them. I don't want to live with them as well. <laughs> Looks like we both mistook each other for someone else. Yeah. I guess we did. I hope you meet the right girl for you someday. It was nice meeting you. Bye. So. Have you learnt anything from this experience then? I'd give her an eight, nine, nine and a half. <laughs>